Yo, what's up everybody? Good morning. This is Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to show you that I got both my pulse motors running at a pretty whipping speed. There it's going to 7.5 7 volts in. And uh, I fixed some bearings. Uh, they're just kind of there right now. They're not permanent or anything, but they're working great. Just need the top one for stabilization, you know, kind of thing. And gravity does the rest. And uh, yeah, the reason why I would have been, been continuing to use this, but the bearings popped out, so I had to fix that. So I was using a different rotor for a while. Uh, look at the air gap on this. It's pretty sweet. If I had a tack strip, I'd get a, a reading right now. It's going pretty fast. It's smooth as a baby's butt. And this thing, for the weight it is, if there was a problem, you could tell. Like right now, and there's maybe a little tiny jostle. Tiny jostle in, in the shaft. But nothing like what it used to be. So I think I, I won with the bearings on this one. And then you got ceramic bearings over here. Right now, currently, we have the, the trigger coil or the switch. And we've got uh, 800 turns of 24 gauge wire as a drive circuit. Oh, and we're using a uh, transistor. I think it's an N21337 or something. I'll have to look it up. Uh, so neat. I love it when they move. They're moving in unison. That's great. This one has nine magnets, though. Okay? And an air gap the size of, you know, Baja, California. And this one has four magnets and one drive coil. I don't know. What, what do you think? Four with ceramic bearings. So these bearings are awesome. Four magnets. Nine magnets. And an air gap. So the air gap might be helping in this case. Um... And they're both got the same amount of juice in them. All right. Well, thank you very much. Peace out. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Bye now.